I and Seymour, we have the exact same model of T7, but I have installed the power kit from Throttle Punks. And today we're at the windy airfield and we're going to see if there's any difference. My T7 and I have been together now for over 4 years and 70,000 kilometers and we're happy. But any long relationship needs a little push. So it's time to drop a little blue pill in the injector, so to speak. What do you say? <coughs> so I have here a power kit for the T7. And the fun fact is that this would never have happened if Tony's wheel bearings didn't break down back in Prague in 21. When that happened, we had to seek out the workshop and fix the problem. And we ended up at this place called Throttle Punks, where they restore and modify and tune motorbikes. Uh, so we got the space there, fixed the bikes and been friends ever since. And it turns out they have now developed this power kit for the T7. And that's what we're going to install on this bike and then go for a comparison ride with Seymour's standard T7. So let me present directly from Prague the Throttle Punks power kit for the T7. So the first part of the kit is the Rally Air Filter Kit, which is quite genius if you ask me. I haven't seen this before. Uh, you have the basket, which takes the foam filter uh, like this down there. And if you're going less dusty uh, conditions, you can just add this maximum airflow uh, top on it. And if you're going in dusty situations, you can instead add this with the pre-filter on. And then add this on top. So you will have a pre-filter to the main filter. And if you would go through a Columbium cocaine lab or something like that, you also have the option to have this hat on. You will probably never have to change the main filter. So with the filter alone, they have measured it, comparing it in real life scenarios to give four more horsepowers and four extra newton meters of torque, which is the torque is what we're after. Then we have the second part of, of the kit, which is my own ECU. I sent it to them and they've remapped it. Uh, also according to their preferences and measurements and stuff like that to optimize the burning and ignition and everything. And with this, we will have a total of seven extra horsepowers to the T7, which would be a total of 80 horsepowers and nine extra newton meters of torque. But this is all numbers. You can check dyno charts and everything. But they, what they were after and what they claim to have achieved is a much better riding experience and there will be a feeling of much more torque and yeah fun riding and that's what we're going to try out as you can see i have the pre-filter on the snorkel already but let's take this all away yep there's definitely some junk on the filter there and we we remove my old foam filter like this here it comes. Oh, a bit soggy. And there's no dirt on this, which means the filter has done, done a good job. Now, if we look at the original setup, you have this hole here, of course, and the suction goes in there. I have swapped uh, that to oil filter because I can then just clean it and do it again. But it's all foam and the suction goes in there so if this is soft it will sort of deform and into the hole if there's enough air pressure so and on top of this we have the snorkel you can see it goes pretty far down into the air filter it goes down that deep so it means that it's really the only the bottom part here that is getting the most effective suction and and bottom part and front because that's where the suction is. And in contrast, I have the same type of foam filter for the new setup, only that this basket goes first. And when I insert it here, it's pre-oiled and you get some extra also in the, in the packet. So when I now put this here, it will be 
constrained by a cage that will also have the air flowing from, from all sides, like that. And now it uses the whole filter without the snorkel going deep into it. And then just put this on. I will first try because uh, now it's winter time and it will be quite a few months until I see any dust over here. So I will start to try it with the maximum airflow and see how that works. And just add the screws. Then later I can swap this and install this little baby here. The last part, I always like to use hand tools. Now that's a difference in airflow. I can see it already. And I cannot push the filter to any side because of the cage. And last we have the ECU, which is remapped. So I only have to plug it in again. And if I'm lucky now, do you want to start? Yes. Seems to be working. Now, let's get Seymour, let's get his uh, standard T7 with the normal snorkel thing going on, and let's go out ride. Twelve sleepless hours later. Helvete vad det blåser. Ja. Oh. Och där åker mina vantar. Ja, men vi kör. Ett, två och tre. Ja, där kommer jag aldrig. Jag har Low RPM, okay. One, two, three. Okay, let's turn around and do the same on third gear. Yep. 25 kilometers on okay. third gear. One, two, three. I was. It's a bit slippery on the wet parts. Let's do this uh, one more time, third gear. One, two, three. Yeah, man. Okay, one, two, three. Come on, come on. That was fun. Uh, definitely some difference in the torque of the bike. Perhaps the airstrip uh, drag race is not the normal riding. I'm sure it will come most in handy on the trails and yeah, feel that I have a little bit more torque. Uh, not that the engine before really needed it, but now that I have it, of course, it's more fun. So yeah, happy with that. And first ride of the year, that wasn't bad, been longing for that. And yeah, let's see what happens next. Just stay tuned on the channel. And if you are not subscribing, please do that and like and everything. It actually helps. So see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>